Greetings and salutations. So, looks like we're back into mask season again because COVID is on the rise where I live. Yay! <laughs> so, I've been sick this week with either I got over COVID in between testing or I had it again. Who knows? But I've it brought to mind those times where your body just doesn't cooperate with you and doesn't do what you want it to do. So two things that I've had to deal with. Um, let's see, since about 2018, chronic daily pain. My sciatic nerve decided to start pinching on a daily basis. And of course, I had a job at a movie theater, so I was on my feet the entire time. And then I worked at the restaurant, also at the movie theater. Again, on my feet the entire time. And I'm like, okay, I'm in my 40s. What the hell? You know, it's like I need my body to cooperate with me. Um, so at first it was a matter of, in the pain scale, it was usually like an 8 out of 10 on a daily basis. And you just got used to it. Um, rarely was it ever lower than 4. Seriously, it was just, it was bad for a few years. And you, you get used to it and you take, you know, you kind of get used to this regimen of, you know, alternating Tylenol and Advil to stay ahead of the pain as much as possible. And it was, it was rough. It was rough. Um, fast forward to when I got COVID the first time in June of 2020, holy hell, everything about my body seemed to change. You know, the fatigue was nuts, the getting the chills after I ate, that was weird, you know, and I finally just was like, okay, fine, one meal a day because getting the chills for an hour after I ate was just maddening. It really was. It drove you crazy. Um, and it was, you know, full blown on chills. Like you just want to cover under a blanket and, you know, and, or huddle under a blanket for an hour. And it, it was just weird. You know, the body just did so many things that I wasn't predicting it to do. And it felt like everything about me aged five years in one month. It sucked. <laughs> it really did. So when I do get sick post-COVID, I do get a little like, oh God, how bad's it going to get? <laughs> like, what are we dealing with this time? And so recoveries are more anxiety probably than anything else. But yeah, the body aches come back and it does kind of remind you of those days of, so do I have to go back to all that pain medication again or just a little less or what? And you try different things. Um, a couple months ago, I met someone, really cool person, who introduced me to, you know, the, the the more benefits to, you know, a vegan diet, less dairy. I mean, I'm still an omnivore. Believe me, bacon is always going to be on my menu. Always. Um, but, and seafood too. Oh, God. Anyway, um, tangenting. Less dairy, surprisingly, did help. And then... I was less bloated all the time and the weight was coming off. My metabolism was actually responding to exercise a lot faster and more efficiently. Um, it is hard to give up cheese though. Oof, that's a hard one. But, you know, drinking, you know, drinking like the almond milk, the coconut milk, the rice milk. Love the rice milk. Oh my God, it's so good. Um, but yeah, doing a little bit more vegan things in addition to, I mean, like I said, I still will always eat bacon. <laughs> it's, I'm never giving that up. Um, but I eat a lot of other, you know, more plant-based proteins and more, you know, vegan diets, you know, and different things that I'm trying on more organic food, definitely a lot less chemicals. I like this friend had this really good advice about, um, looking at the ingredients on the back and choosing the products that have the smallest list of ingredients. He's right. It is, it is the right way to go. The less chemicals and less ingredients that are in something, the better it's probably going to work for your body. And you have to think of the body as a machine. So like for any mechanics out there, think of your body as a car, you know, uh, think of your body as this machine that is going to work the best on the best fuel. And it's going to work the best when it's, you know, well run, well exercised. You know, if you treat your body more mechanically and you think about what you're putting into it and what exactly, you know, are those chemicals and those foods and those nutrients going to do or not do, you know, for you, you do develop a better sense of how to take care of your body. And it does lead to a lot less pain, you know, in some cases. I was able to take my, my daily chronic pain from an, a daily eight down to a daily one to two, you know. Right now it's shot up again because I'm not feeling very well. And so obviously all my joints are going, holy hell, you know. But hopefully that wears off, you know. And if it doesn't, figure out what to do next. You know, you got to keep going. So... But that is uh, one of the topics for tonight is basically treat your body more like a machine and hopefully it will work a little bit more efficiently for you. Um, that doesn't mean don't give in to a craving now and then, but don't completely slide. Like I used to make a pound of bacon 
for a German potato salad recipe that I'm really good at, but I'd also eat a pound of bacon while making the recipe. Don't go that far. <laughs> Still have some bacon, like a couple slices, but don't slip all the way back into all your bad habits once you've made some good habits. Um, because, yeah, the better you take care of your body, the hopefully, hopefully, the correlation is the better it's going to take care of you and the better physically you're going to feel. So, all the best. <laughs>